What's happening guys? Andrew Distad here and I got a lot on my plate. There's no time for nonsense and my highest priority is spending time with God and my family, working on my health, working on my wealth and that includes teaching, running my business, and getting my doctorate. And with all of these things you need to examine the why. If you're gonna have a lot of things going on you need to have a high level of motivation to keep all of those plates spinning. And the way you do that is you ask, what is my reason why? What is the pain if I do, the pain if I don't, the pleasure if I do, and the pleasure if I don't? Do yourself a favor and for each priority in your life, get a sheet of paper, draw in the middle of that paper a line down the center, and then another line across the middle. So you have a, a, a cross right in the middle, right? And you have a quadrant now, pain and pleasure, do and don't. Or you can do pain, pleasure, do, don't, right? So you've got a, a quadrant and you have in the top then, you have, you have pain if I do, pain if I don't, or pleasure if I do, pleasure if I don't. And write that out for each area of your life. Then boil that down to as, as you, you you're di mind dumping and brainstorming in, into each of those boxes pick the best one and say this is why I'm doing this because I will experience this pain if I do this pain if I don't this pleasure if I do and this this pleasure if I don't and then you you look at the pleasure if I do that's an easy sell right yeah I'm gonna get this, all these great things this is the best thing I'm gonna get you know there's pleasure if I don't well, is that really pleasure? Am I really enjoying that? Because discipline is remembering what you want. And that's how you stay disciplined in going forward. And so if you think you want other things, re-examine that or tie negative associations to those things. Like, well, yeah, maybe I thought I wanted that, the, the pleasure if I don't, but maybe I don't really want that. Or maybe that's not the right time. You know, like I want that, but not in the times that I'm supposed to be doing what I need to do to get what I want to get. So um, then, then you're looking at the, the pain, if I don't, like what is it going to cost you? You know, what is the worst case scenario? Intensify that, the emotions you're going to experience as a result of not getting what you want. And, and then what is, is the pain if I do? Examining the uncomfortability. You're going to have to grow, do things you've never done. You're going to have to use mental energy to clarify the process, to make it happen. But you know what? As, like, as you examine that, it's like, well, then you start to think, well, that's not so hard. I, I can clarify that. I've clarified that before. I do have the process. I've written it down. Or, or once I write it down, you know, once I get past that, that difficulty, it's not going to be so hard. I can just look at that that process of doing what I got to do, remembering to do that. I, or I can put it in my calendar, put set reminders on my phone. I can like simplify this process, you know, take the edge off the pain. So then as you're examining all of these, you, you make it more palatable, you get that clarity and you develop a plan of action so that you can move forward confidently and then have, have accountability with that. Put that into your morning routine so you're committed to reviewing that list every day of here's my five priorities, here's my big why statements of why I'm going to go towards all those priorities, and bam, that's where the magic happens.